Welcome to the You Can Do It channel. So today we're at the final stage of actually closing up or covering our walls here. Um, we went back and forth on what we were gonna do with this wallpapered wall um, and then also just all the patchwork. We decided instead of uh, floating the walls and taping and texturing, we're going to do wainscoting in here. We're gonna show you an easy technique on covering all this up um, pretty fast. And uh, we're gonna use some quarter inch uh, beadboard, uh, but we're gonna do a wainscoting in here, then we're gonna uh, paint it with a bathroom paint. So stay tuned and check out how this all goes together. The glue that we used for this MDF is Tight Bond brand. It's called Fast Grab FRP Adhesive. It is excellent for putting up MDF, beadboard, any of that kind of stuff on the wall where you can't shoot a lot of nails. So what Chris is doing after he applies that is he takes a roller and he smooths out all of that um, eighth inch MDF on the wall as best he can. And then he goes right around the exterior with one inch long staples. You wanna make sure you go around the exterior for one, to hit wood, and for two, so that you don't have a lot of staple marks along that beadboard. You want it nice and smooth and finished. Once it is all finished, he does go along all those seams and he trims them out with really nice molding. The top of the wall is receiving beadboard and that is already pre-primed. So when it comes to painting, I, I paint just the bottom first, one full coat before I start the entire wall. And the reason is, is because that bottom wall needs to have some primer on it to give a really nice even look on the finished product. So this is Bear Brand Pro Contractor Paint. It's kind of an all-purpose paint for interiors. So I paint that, I, I cut that in with just a standard paintbrush, and then I go over the wall with 3 8 inch nap uh, roller. I want a really nappy roller so that I smooth out any uh, imperfections that might be in the walls and also that beadboard because of the dimensions within the beadboard. I want a roller that's really going to sink that paint into all those grooves. So after this first coat on just the lower section, I wait for that to dry and then I go over the entire wall top to bottom with one more coat of that Bear Pro Contractor paint. And then when that is completely finished, I'll go over it with something else. But in between my coats and, and drying, I use uh, just plastic uh, store-bought uh, grocery bags and I put my roller in one and I put my paintbrush in another and I just give it a really tight squeeze to seal that in and that saves me time on having to clean the roller and the brush in between uh, coats and, and uh, the project itself. The final coat, which will be the third coat on the entire wall, I actually use an exterior paint by Valspar. And the reason I do that is that exterior paint not only has uh, a mildew and mold resistance to it, but it actually is made for wet environments. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tune in to our next bathroom video. Oh, Snapdragon!